There's 137 islands in the Hawaiian archipelago. Which Hawaiian island should you visit? Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. So you're thinking about coming to Hawaii and trying to make that first decision is what island should you visit? Yeah. And that's a big decision, especially if it's your first time here. It probably is your first time here, right? Yeah. And it's one thing I just want to start off with, right? Is is like they all have like luau's, surfing, good beaches, snorkeling, snorkeling, boat ride, great culture, great Hawaiian history. They they all have those things. But there are subtleties, right, between them. I'm salty. Some of them have very different like cultures and feels to them. Yeah. For it, and they're all great. But for you and your family or your loved one, you really want to make sure you pick the right, the best island for you guys. And everyone is super passionate. Everyone has their favorite and mm -hmm. will fight you on it and say, No, no, no. <laughs> this fans. is the better island. Yeah. But really, it comes down to personal choice. So that's why you have to watch this video and figure out what's best for you because your best friend may like a totally different island. Totally true, yep. So we're being unbiased here. And we lived on Oahu for a couple years and now we live on Maui right now and we've traveled all the islands numerous times. I like yeah. to think we know what we're talking about. I'm sure more people do, like better than us, but we, 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 have, a good, we have a good pulse on what we would like on each island. So for this video, we're talking about the major islands to visit in Hawaii. We're talking about Kauai, Oahu, Maui, and the big island, Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Those are the main ones. So we're excluding some of the other islands like Lanai, Molokai, Koholawe, and Ni'iha. Yep. So we're not talking about those, just the big islands. Mm -hmm. Kauai, the Garden Isle. This is the second oldest island. Niihau takes the cake for the oldest island. It has the smallest population of only 72,000 people on it. It's a good sized island. It kind of gives you an idea of like, it takes you two hours to go from like the northernmost point to like the southwesternmost point yeah. on it. Um, it's the Garden Isle because it's tropical, it's lush, it beautiful. rains quite a bit, absolutely beautiful. It's, yeah, it feels very different from the other islands, especially since it's less populated, it gets a little more quieter and you get that more jungle feel from it yeah which means it gets a little bit more rainfall so something to keep in mind yeah cloud bursts here mm -hmm. highlights for quiet you have waimea canyon which is the grand canyon of the pacific is this nickname you have the nepali coast which is this staggering cliffs to go on highly recommend like a boat ride on those you have Wailua Falls, beautiful falls that you can like see like relatively easily. Then the south south shore, you have Poipu Beach, and then also you have Hanalei Bay up on the north shore, which is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, beautiful you'll see place. them in magazines everywhere. All right, so we would say Kauai is a great island for honeymooners, baby mooners, thrill seekers, because of the hike Jordan did. Kalau Trail, it's intense. Um, also, it's great for a romantic getaway, whether or not you're on a baby moon or a honeymoon. And it's great for families with teenagers and older kids because it is tough to get a toddler on a boat on the Nepali coast. <laughs> That's a good you reason. can't do it. Okay, so for quiet, things to consider if you're making the decision. It's a very quiet island, not a lot of nightlife, not a lot of bars. Also, there's only one road that goes around the island. So traffic can be a problem if there's a problem on that one road mm -hmm. for you. Also, the beaches can get a little rough with the waves during the winter. A lot of the nice beaches are in the north on the east shore, east side, and so the waves aren't great there during the winter. So take that into account too. Maui, the Valley Isle. Our favorite. Maui is the second largest in island size. It has a population of 145,000, and included in Maui County are the islands of Lanai and Molokai, which are just a ferry ride away. So Maui is known for whale watching. It has some of the best beaches in the world. It's excellent for snorkeling. It does have a volcano that you can visit. And you also have the road to Hana. Also, we feel like this is really a place where the majority of celebrities vacation. Highlights for Maui, you have the road to Hana, lots of waterfalls, twisty turning road, absolutely beautiful. You can witness the sunrise at Haleakala and also see the sunset. Mm -hmm. People, you know, like to, but the sunrise is amazing. Historic Lahaina Town is there. You have some of the best snorkeling in the world and also Hawaii. And you also have whale watching. December to March is whale watching season on Maui. Absolutely amazing to see. Love them. Watch your video on whale watching on Maui for an idea. Who is Maui best for? It's best for an adults only vacation because it has the only adults only resort in Hawaii. It is also great for family vacations. A lot of things to do for the kids. It's best for your first island to visit because you get a taste of everything. 
It also has tons of luxury hotels, so it is great for a luxury vacation. You also have plenty to do for the beach bums, the adventure seekers, the foodies. Food trucks are great, but you mm -hmm. also have gourmet restaurants for whale enthusiasts, for athletes. You can do a lot of surfing, stand up paddle and windsurfing. Maui has a lot. It does. <laughs> also, things to consider then if you're thinking about Maui. It is one of the most, it is the most expensive Hawaiian island yeah. because of all those luxury resorts. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can stay in a hostel on Maui too. You can also go camping or glamping on Maui, but it is the most expensive island to visit. It's fun to island hop because you can visit Lanai or Molokai by just a ferry ride away. Great beaches, you won't get bored because of all the activities. Also, it's kind of fun. You stay on the dry side, either in Wailea or Kanapali area, and then you can have adventures over on the wet side of the island. Yeah. Also, too, it hits a sweet spot between Oahu and Kauai, yeah. which is really nice. So it's not as tropical as Kauai, but it's not as much traffic as Oahu or the populated. That's very fair. Number three to consider is Hawaii, the big island or the orchid island. Mm -hmm. Hawaii is a fun island to go to. It is the southernmost island. It is the largest island. It's actually, if you combine all the other islands together, Hawaii is still bigger. Whoa! It has a population of 200,000, so it's the second biggest, but you don't feel it. It feels very empty because it's so big. One of the big things there is the volcano. Absolutely amazing. It's always erupting, but it's not erupting right now. Not in 2019 or 2020. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll start erupting again, but still you can visit Volcano National Park. I love about it is it encompasses 11 of the 13 climatic zones in the world. You can go from desert to high alpine to even go skiing uh, informally, but you can ski on top of volcanoes if you time it right with the blizzard. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> it is the birthplace of King Kamehameha I, who ended up conquering all of Hawaii. It has lots of botanical gardens, waterfalls, and what I love is manta ray snorkeling, night snorkeling. Check out our video. It's one of the best experiences I've ever been on. Highlights for the big island. We got Kona Coffee Country. Go visit a coffee plantation, have some amazing coffee. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. You have the historic Hilo and Kailua Kona towns. And then you also have the Mauna Kea Observatories. So who is Hawaii best for? Volcanologists, astronomers, good for families. Also romantic getaways, because you have the Kahala Coast or the Gold Coast, beautiful weather. It's just north of Kona. And it's great for people who really want to be active on their holidays. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. Lots of nice hiking, great waterfalls. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful place to go and get out in nature. Things to consider. It's big, but it's easy to get around. For example, from Hilo to Kona is only about an hour and a half drive. With no traffic. With no traffic. Yeah. But you can do a nice day trip over there from Kailua. Mm -hmm. Hilo is a rainforest, so it gets very wet over there, but it's very beautiful too. You also have whale watching during December to March. Maui's not alone. The whales also visit the big island also. And then the last island, we have Oahu, which is the gathering place. On Oahu, you have the state capital of Honolulu. It's also the most populated island with one million people. So significantly larger population size than the other islands. Um, it is the third largest island in land size. It also has triple crown surfing, Waikiki Beach, and it's just a really fun place to visit. It's full of culture, nightlife, and just so many different things to do. Which brings us to the highlights, right? You have Waikiki Beach. Waikiki Beach gets half of all tourist dollars to Hawaii. Over 70,000 people a day visit Waikiki Beach. And you can see why. See your video on why Waikiki is popular. It's a pretty exciting place to go. Mm -hmm. You also have Pearl Harbor for those history buffs out there, which is a pretty interesting experience to go yeah. visit. Yes, truly, truly Amazing. very cool thing to see. It is. You also have the North Shore. You can escape the town and head to the country on the North Shore, home to big wave surfing, Haleiwa Town, and just a beautiful place to go. You also have Honolulu, which is great with Chinatown, the Bishop Museum and the Iolani Palace. And of course, it's home to Disney. You have the Aualani Resort in Koalina. So for any Disney fans, this is the island for you. Oahu is best for, you got families, you have historians because of Pearl Harbor, and also Hawaii. There's a lot of Hawaiian culture on Oahu. You have, it's good for singles, couples, foodies, beach bums, surfers, beginners to expert on the surfing level. Waikiki is a great place to learn how to surf. Also good for shoppers. All right, so things to consider on Oahu. We love Oahu, but there are some things you should know. The island has it all, right? Has everything, but you also get the crowds. It is the Manhattan of Pacific, some people call it, because it's, it's a city on an island. It's got high rises, skyscrapers. Yeah, it looks like Manhattan. 
but you also do have the countryside. So heading up to North Shore um, or even heading on the east side of Oahu, you really have a lot of nice open space. Um, it has great beaches. Waikiki is a ton of fun. And then you have some beautiful resorts in Koalina. So just, you kind of have it all on this island. Some of the best hiking in Hawaii is actually on Oahu. The best in the my best. Yes. So many trails. So many, so many very cool things to see from all levels, beginner to advanced. And it really just has a little of something for everyone. So we hope you, we didn't overwhelm you with things. There's a lot on the islands. It's hard to make a, a, a decision on which island's best for you. Hope you got a better idea from it, we believe. For first timers coming to Hawaii, Maui is your best island to visit. We have a whole video on it up top. Oahu would be a close second because you get to see so much stuff also, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah. Another thing to consider is what a lot of people do, especially for their first trip, is island hop. You go to like Maui or Oahu for seven days, and then you jump to Kauai or the Big Island for like three days. Yeah. Not enough time to see those islands, but at least you get a taste of them and a flavor and know when to go, what, what island you want to go to on your next trip. Yeah. The average stay in 2019 for people was nine days, 9.3 days actually, for people coming. So a little bit more of a week, and don't get me wrong, you can park yourself on Maui for 10 days and not get bored at all. You can say that about all the islands. There's mm -hmm. so much to do on them. Mm -hmm. So we hope this helps. Head to our website for free itineraries. Once you pick what island you wanna to go to, we have tons of free itineraries on each island to help you out with your planning, figure out what you wanna do. And we have an itinerary specifically for first timers, so make sure you go check that out. Head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash itineraries and they're all there. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.